guys, seeing here the Critical Virgo. Welcome back to another Fragrance Friday. So I just thought it'd be fun to switch it up a little bit. I rarely do videos like this, but I wanted to go over my most worn fragrances of 2018. You guys hear all of us like talk about all these scents. We test out a lot of stuff. We have a lot of bottles. And I'm sure some of you wonder if we're like pretty quiet about what we're wearing today. What we're really reaching for on a daily basis, right? Because with so many options, like what are we going for? Now, these are... Some of my favorite fragrances obviously but it doesn't mean that the rest of my collection is forgotten um it may just be because they're up front they're easy to reach for i was in the mood for them the weather there's so many variables i do love all my other scents and there are some in here that i could have probably included but in the effort of keeping things at a reasonable time i decided to leave them out um, I will also give you what my fragrance for Christmas will be. I do reserve my very special fragrances for holidays and special occasions, so stay tuned for that. There will be timestamps to everything down below if you haven't been here before. Now you know, you can fast forward to whatever you want. I won't hold it against you. I can't stop you. I hope you do. Hope you enjoy this video. So here we go. I'm going to talk about my work fragrances. I do keep some full bottles in my drawer, I know, right? Um, I also have a lot of things to sample, like decants, um, scent bird tubes that I pick up at the P.O. box, etc. I do spray on fragrance in the morning. It's just like, you know, sometimes you're testing something out and it doesn't last all day, or it's like something you might own and it just wore off, you didn't bring a decant, you didn't bring the bottle with you. I don't like schlepping bottles around, to be honest. So I do keep fragrance at work. Um, and these are just three that I find myself grabbing the most because it's a nice variety. The first one that I go to, it's the lightest of all three, I'm going to say, and a real crowd pleaser, Lolita Limpica, Lola's favorite. A lot of my coworkers really love this one. It's just easy to wear. You can spray a lot on, a little bit on. I usually go between two and four spritzes, just kind of brightens up my day. And um, I'll wear that during the daytime. I don't really wear it if I'm going to go out after work. Another one is Alexandria Signature. I really enjoy this. Everybody always asks me if there's like chocolate in it and I, I don't think there is. No. No, but it, I, I can see where they would smell that. But I also get a lot of compliments with that. I love it. And if I'm going to go out after work or if I just want something a little more body in it uh, because it's like cold outside or cold in the office I'll go for Alexandria's Serene and this is inspired by uh, Coco Chanel Mademoiselle I actually ran out of that and I never repurchased it because I had this and it smells just like it so if you're a big fan of that fragrance I recommend you go check that out because it is it's there it's good now we have a category that's much larger. It's the fragrances that I wear when I go out, <laughs> okay? Um, there's two in here that I wear the most out of this category, and I will save those for the end. I will go from the lightest to the heaviest. I think that makes most sense. The lightest one, it's a really easy to wear, cheap fragrance. I've talked about it many times before. It's Corduroy. Zer, and this was popular like back in early 2000s don't hear it talked about much anymore you can get it super duper cheap I think I got this bottle for like 10 or 15 it was something ridiculously cheap online like 10 15 dollars maybe even 20 at the most it's a really light fresh fragrance I live in Florida so I get a lot of use out of this it is marketed for men and it is a little masculine, but I like it a lot. Then we have... Yeah. I'm recording something! Oh, then we have something that I actually did a whole video on before. Um, it's not something that you could purchase for yourself. Actually, if you wanted to purchase the same fragrance that I made, you could. I could give you the code for it. Um, but if you're going to create your own bespoke fragrance, you're probably better off picking the notes that you like and creating something that you'll really enjoy. I did um, my own little version here. You can't really read it. It says the Critical Virgo exclusive ones. And 
I like this because it's got um, a lot of wood, it's oriental, and it wears a really long time. The formula is really great. I was actually very surprised. I've been reaching for it on the cooler days because it is a little bit on the heavy side. And then we got a fragrance that could pass as a dupe, in my opinion, for a very popular fragrance. This one is Swiss Arabian Al Amakin and i featured it on my channel uh, once before i did a whole write-up on it this smells just like victor and rolf flower bomb i know it's a very popular fragrance but uh, this one is longer lasting the issue that i had with flower bomb well there were a few issues one of them was that it doesn't last on my skin another one was that for a long time it was very popular and i couldn't go anywhere without smelling it now it's not so popular so i do enjoy wearing it uh this one is stronger it lasts longer so i reach for this i haven't worn flower bomb in a really long time and i have like a lot left the next one up could easily be in my list of top worn fragrances uh, because I do reach for it a lot, I have a large bottle and a small bottle. I'm showing you guys a small one, which I do have to refill from the larger one because I put this thing in my purse all the time. I love it. And if I had this when I did my top three chocolate fragrances video, it totally would have made the list. I've talked about it a few times before. It is Alexandria Fragrances Cacao Dreams. And like I said, small bottle. I've I reach for this one a lot to go through that much fragrance when you have a lot of other ones to choose um doesn't happen very often so this one one of my favorite chocolate fragrances like ever and then we have the two that i go to the most in my opinion these are the two sexiest fragrances that i have and i get a lot of compliments on both of them not too long ago, I did a video on Carolina Herrera's Good Girl, and I, I didn't think I would reach for this one as much as I do, which is why I bought the really small bottle. Whenever I could buy small bottles, I do, because I rarely finish bottles. Like, I really gotta like something to finish it. And the shoe was filled to the top when I bought this, and now I am, you're not gonna be able to see it because the bottle's so dark, but I, I more than halfway through so i definitely need to buy this one again and when i do i'm actually going to get the largest size available because it's such a nice fragrance easy to wear um, i took this to new york with me and this was actually the only fragrance that i bought with me because i didn't feel like schlepping a lot of stuff around and it was just you could wear it during the day at night it's so versatile i love the way this one wears on my skin it's very long lasting I really enjoyed it a lot. I don't know why everybody doesn't like that one. Then we have something that I've talked about for, oh wow, it's been a few years now, right? Um, and Sarah's Pearl. I'm almost done with this bottle. One of my favorite rose fragrances ever and a really appropriate scent for date night, going out. I wear it in the summer, winter. Well, now I just have summer, so I wear it in the summer, <laughs> okay? And um, just be careful with this one because it is very strong. We're gonna go into my bedtime fragrances. Now, these are all very light and sheer. So if you're someone who doesn't like heavy fragrances then or you like fresh fragrances, then this is definitely the category for you. I, I'll start with my oldest one. So we have um, Parfumerie Generales, Bois Nefoge, and it's just a really classic fragrance. Um, I've worn this during the day, but it doesn't last a long time on my skin. So I generally put this on at night because it lasts long enough for me to enjoy it. I'll take a shower, wind down. And um, by the time I go to bed, it's usually, I either go nose blind to it or it's completely faded away on me. Finally, we have three from the same house. They're from Atler Blanc. And it is a bespoke launch from Malin and Goats. And I did like a whole little series on these. We've got New Amsterdam, 1614, and William all very sheer william is the most masculine of them all 1614 is um 
a very feminine floral uh, yeah, men can wear this okay but i find this to lean very feminine and then a new amsterdam i get a lot of questions about this one actually this one reminds me a lot of um Le labo's rose 31 and it's i say that because it has all the same characteristics except it's just not as sharp smelling like that can wear really sharp on my skin go a little sour sometimes this is just very light fresh sheer i prefer this over Le Labo's rose 31 to be honest with you so it's a real favorite of mine now i'm going to tell you guys about what i'm wearing for christmas it is something i purchased a while ago i don't reach for it that often it's again something that i reserve just for special occasions because it is special to me let me just clean the bottle because it's got fingerprints all over but it's a noir aphrodisiac by killian i love how deep dark rich boozy this is it is beautiful gourmand fragrance in my opinion mm, and i cannot wait to wear it for christmas it's probably might even be my new year scent i don't know yet i gotta think about that anyway hope you guys enjoyed this what are you wearing for christmas and what are some of your top fragrances for work play and for bedtime can't wait to hear from you guys till next friday bye